Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we could just do like a full face using one brand. And I chose Wet n Wild because it was like really cheap and I know they have good products. Um, some of the stuff I had to go out and buy and some of the stuff I already had. I figured why spend money on it if I already got it. So that's what we're going to be doing. And let's just go ahead and get started. So first I got this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Hydrating Balm Stick. This is what it looks like. Anyways, it twists up and then you just like apply it to the face. Some people don't like doing that because of bacteria and stuff like that, but you can clean your stuff with alcohol. But this is just supposed to be like a hydrating stick and it feels like really smooth feels awesome for real. I like it a lot. Now I'm just going to take my fingers and push it into the skin. So now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Rose. It's a 3-in-1 primer water. I'm just going to spritz this on my face over top of this. So now I'm just going to let it soak in. I'm just going to push on it a little bit. It smells really good. Okay, so now that all that's soaked in, I'm just going to go in with the Photo Focus Concealers. And I have two of them here. Um, I have them in the shade uh, Fair Neutral and Light Ivory. And these are really good concealers to be like as cheap as they are. Alright, so I'm just going to take Light Ivory and I'm going to place it on my lids. I'm just going to place it on my lids to use it as a eyeshadow primer. This is the lightest shade I have. And I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush. It's the E8. <laughs> it's the E8 brush by Morphe, and I'm just gonna blend this out. I really like this concealer. Especially if like you know you're having it rough and you can't afford to buy your um, tart shape tape or your Too Faced concealer or whatever, you can go to Walmart and just grab this and it'll work for you. So I think that's pretty awesome. Like honestly, I can't believe how much the drugstore uh, products have like stepped their game up. Like it just blows my mind. It's amazing. I wasn't gonna go in with foundation next, but I changed my mind. So we're just gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is what it looks like. And um, this is in the shade Cream Beige. And honestly, I think it's a little bit too dark for me right now, but this is all we got, so that's what we're working with. <laughs> I was kind of in a hurry whenever I was going through everything, and I had Ben with me, so <laughs> it's a little bit dark. But we're just going to go ahead and apply this to the face. And I'm just slapping it on there. <laughs> I like this little spatula that comes on there. I think it's so cool. Alright, so we're just going to take the Morphe M439 brush. I'm just going to blend this out. See, it's a little bit too dark. <laughs> but it'll work, whatever. Yeah, this is a little bit too dark for my skin. I wish I would have, like, really took my time and found my shade, but... It's becoming summertime anyway, so I'm going to be a little bit darker eventually, so it'll end up matching. You just really want to buff this into your hairline. That way you don't have like a big white line going across your head. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good so far. Like, it isn't drying down too much. Um, my skin is really dry right now, and it's looking pretty good. So, like, I'm so excited for this video and to try all these products I got. Just because I know they're, like, not too expensive, and they're just right, and a lot of people can afford them. Okay, so we're going to be taking this eyeshadow palette, and I'm pretty sure the name of it is Rose in the Air. And I just think it's so pretty, and I'm, like, really excited to try um, the eyeshadows. Like... Back in the day, all the eyeshadows I would have, like before I really knew how to do my makeup that good, was Wet n Wild ones, and I thought they worked good back then, so 
Now I'm excited to see like what I think about them now. You know what I mean? Okay, so first I'm going to take this transition shade right here at the bottom. And we're going to put that in the crease. And I'm using the Morphe M441 brush. Wow, that's pigmented. Now let's just see how it blends. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna tap into this transition shade down here. And I'm just going to put it above this one. And I'm just going to use the same brush as well. I'm just lightly placing it on there. So I'm kind of like bringing it up really high right here, right in the inner corner, just to give it like that more bolder effect. Like then my eyes are just going to be like, bam, you know what I mean? I don't know. You'll see when I'm done. <laughs> you always just want to keep building your eyeshadow and blending it upwards. I feel like that's how I get a good blend going. That's just my opinion though. Some people might have different techniques. And so I'm going to go in with this Morphe M573 brush, and it's a clean brush. And I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit. So I just want them blended. I don't want them to look too harsh. I just want them blended out. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this shade right here. And we're just going to put that a little bit lower than the shade we just applied. And I'm just barely tapping in there. These eyeshadows are pretty pigmented. Okay, so we're just going to keep blending. I just think it's amazing when cheaper brands come out with like awesome products because not everyone can go out and spend like um, 50, 30, 60, 40 dollars on a eyeshadow palette or something like that or bronzer or foundation like so it's just so awesome to know that we have good stuff and it's affordable too you know what I mean that's like so amazing okay so now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here I'm just gonna build it up a little bit and I'm using the Morphe M433 brush but I'm just going to keep building it up and buffing it out. But I feel like it is a little bit harder to blend than the other shades I've used so far. But I feel like it isn't nothing like you can work with or whatever, if that makes sense. It's looking a little bit patchy too. But I still think it's really pretty. I'm just making this kind of like messy and blown out and I'm just gonna clean it all up when I'm done pretty good especially for like the price the only shade I've had trouble with is this like um, maroon shade but it isn't anything that's too bad okay so I'm just gonna go back in with my Morphe M573 brush I'm just gonna like kind of blend them all together taking the Morphe M506 brush and I'm just going to go into this brown shade right here. I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and bring it up a little bit. I'm 
just going to take this shimmer shade right here and I'm going to place it on the lid. And first I'm going to use my finger. It's really pigmented and pretty. I'm not going for like a crazy eye look today because I know this video is already going to be long enough. And I know how some of you hate when I have like a 30 minute video. So I'm trying to make it fast as possible. Now I'm just taking my brush and blending it in a little bit. let you guys see what this looks like close up. I think it's really pretty. I think that the colors worked okay. And for these to be so cheap, like, they work pretty good. Like, I mean, the only problem I had out of this whole eyeshadow palette was with this shade right here. And it was just a little bit difficult to blend and a little bit patchy, but I think that it looks okay. So I think it's workable, you know what I mean? So now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Eyeliner. This will be my first time trying this, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it and stuff. Okay, here it is. And then this is the felt tip liner as well. And that's, this is what the point looks like. I think that worked pretty good. I just hope this isn't like one of those liners that dry up really fast when you go to the second eye. <laughs> Okay, I thought this worked like really good, but this is like a um, stiffer type of felt tip. So if you don't like that, I don't think you'll like this. I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean up the outer edges. All right, so now I'm gonna get back in with the Wet n Wild concealers. First, I'm going to apply this one, which is light ivory, and then I'm going to go in with fair neutral. So, we're just placing this under the eyes just to highlight the face a little bit. again with my little sponge this is a real technique sponge I think I'm not positive I can't remember I've had it forever but it's just like a little sponge and it has a sharp edge and then a flat end and stuff like that so don't take my word for it because I'm not sure who it's by but that's just what I'm thinking I'm just gonna blend this out Okay, so now I'm going to go in with um, Fair Neutral. I'm just going to put this like near the inner corner right here. Just like that. I just want to brighten that up a lot. And we're just going to blend it out. Just blending the rest of this out. Okay, so I also got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. I'm really nervous to try this because I'm really picky about powder, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, so now we're just gonna dump some in the lid. I'm just going to take my Morphe M438 brush 
And I'm just gonna tap it in there. I'm just gonna tap my brush in here like this and then knock off all the excess and then pack it on top. Barely pack it on there. I feel like I should do a lot just to see, you know, like what it looks like and all that, but I'm kind of nervous. And I will, I'll take a picture and put it on here so we can see if it has flashback or anything like that as well. It's supposed to be photo focused, so. <laughs> see if it really is. I'm just gonna put some more on here as well. it really brighten things up a bit. It's looking okay, I think. Buff it out on the nose. It's supposed to be translucent, so you should be able to use this all over your face if you don't have another powder. And, um, actually I don't, so I'm just gonna buff this around a little bit, like very lightly over the skin. And next I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And this is in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. So I'm just gonna take my Morphe M530 brush. And I'm just gonna tap in here. And we're just gonna lightly build it up. When I'm trying new products, I just like, I don't like to just go in and go ham and you know, just throw it on my face. I like to go in lightly and build it up that way if it is like too pigmented or too dark I'm not just like slapping it all on there if that makes sense and it has like a shine to it I think it's really pretty Okay, so I think this bronzer looks freaking awesome. <clears throat> like, who else thinks so? <laughs> like, tell me that doesn't look good. I think it looks so pretty. It is a little bit, I think it, I think like the shine could be toned down a little bit, but I still think it's like really pretty. Like, it's different than what I'm used to, if that makes sense. Okay, so next I have the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. Um, and it looks like this. Let's see, I think it looks shaped like the Anastasia um, brow definer. Um, the tip of it, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna open both of them and check them out and see. Yeah, it's definitely shaped exactly the same. But does it work as good? I'm gonna show you guys, see? Like they look like the same shape and all. But this one's a different color. Hopefully it works for me. So far it feels kind of stiff like. Like it isn't really smooth. But we're just going to build it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the brows done. I think they look pretty good. Um, as far as the product goes, I thought it was okay. Uh, I feel like it could be a little bit smoother, but um, it definitely works, and I like it. Like, I would definitely use it, and especially for the price, too. Like, that's amazing.
Okay, so far as highlighter goes, um, I've had this one forever. It's the Master Chrome in Molten Gold. I don't know if they still make it or not. I haven't checked, but I really like this highlighter. I think it's really pretty. And I'm just going to go with my Morphe M510 brush. I really wanted to get like a new highlighter, but I just didn't have the money at the time. So I used what I got and um, get some stuff that was new that I didn't have. So I could do like a full face glam with just Wet n Wild products. I always like going in with my finger on my nose and my cupid's bow and then going in with the brush to blend it out. I'm just going to use this as an inner corner highlight as well. It's really pretty. So I did forget to buy blush, um, but I went through my stuff and I found this old Wet and Wild Blush, like it's really old. I probably shouldn't even use it, but I'm going to just for the sake of the video. But this is what it looks like, needs cleaned. And this is the shade. It's in the shade, let me see, where is it at? Blusher? <laughs> so it's called Blusher, I guess. Oh my God, one thing I hate is looking for a brush and can't find it, like that drives me insane. And it's right in front of my face. This is the Luxie 514 Blush Brush. I love this brush. Oh my God, it's like so freaking soft. I'm just barely gonna tap into the shade because it's really dark. Lightly wanna build it up. See how much that is already? It's old as heck anyways, so there's probably no smoothness left to it. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of blush. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and do under the eyes. And I'm just going to go back into the transition shade we used. I'm just going to put that under there. See how pigmented this shade is? Like, this shade is freaking awesome, you guys. That's, like, freaking pigmented. We're just gonna take this flat definer brush and go back into the brown shade. <laughs> that was kind of weird. But you know what I'm talking about, homie. And we're just gonna place on the outer corner right here. Okay, so I don't have a Wet n Wild eyeliner for the waterline, but I'm just gonna take this um, sugar uh, purple liner and just put it on my lash line. There we go. I love this liner. Like, it's so smooth, you guys. Okay, so I got this mascara. It says the Mega Protein Mascara. And it's blue. It's so pretty. But I'm hoping that it works really good. Like, I don't know. I wanted to try it out because it's supposed to be healthy for your lashes and help them grow and stuff like that. So we'll see. This is what it looks like out of the box or the package. Okay, so first I'm just gonna take my eyelash curler and I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm just gonna hold it there for a minute. My mother-in-law has this lash curler and it heats up and um, then you curl your lashes with it. It's so freaking cool. And I don't even think it was that much either. All right, so now we're just gonna go in with the mascara. And it looks like the wand is like bent a little bit. I don't know if it's made like that or yeah. I like to try to look down a lot when I put mascara on because it always gets in my crease on my eyeshadow. So far it's just looking like it's just putting like a really thin layer on there. So I got the gel lip liner and it's in the shade uh, Bear to Comment. And this is what the packaging looks like. So I'm going to take it out and this is what it looks like as well. And then I'm 
gonna go in with it is a liquid cat suit high shine lipstick and you guys I freaking love this stuff I think it's just so pretty and um, it's like really pigmented and it's kind of like the like formulated kind of like a gloss but not a gloss I don't know but it's just I just think it's just so beautiful I like it Especially this combo together, like the lip liner and this lipstick. And usually I'm like a liquid lipstick queen, but I'm really liking this a lot. Alright, so next I got the Wet n Wild Lashes and the Shutter Shock Lash. And this is like the only freaking lash I could find. Um, it was the only one hanging there. They were all gone. So, this is what I'm dealing with right here. Is these ones. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to be using the Kiss Lash Glue. Um, I have never used it before. I hope it doesn't make my eyes swell or anything. So, we're just going to try it out and see how it works. <laughs> Alright, to save time, I'm going to apply these off camera. And I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm back and I got the lashes on and stuff. Um, honestly, I don't recommend these lashes. I just feel like they're like really flimsy and if you barely touch them, they like bend out of shape really easy. Um, but here's the lashes. Well, you guys see them. They look kind of cheap, to be honest. I mean, like if you're looking up close or whatever, but from far away, I guess they look okay. Now all we have left to do is go into setting spray and I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water that we used at the beginning of the video. I'm just going to set my face with this. And the mist on this is freaking awesome, I think. A lot comes out. I'm just going to take my sponge and pat everything in. Like always. Just lightly want to pat the face. Just to get some of that powder effect gone. That's what I like to do. And then I like to go in with something and just dry it the rest of the way. Okay, so like I really thought this was like really fun. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. I think it's so cool using just one brand and doing a full face. Um, let me know what you guys think, if you liked this type of video, um, let me know what you think about the makeup and all that. Um, I'm just going to give you a close up really fast, that way you guys can see the eyeshadow and stuff, and the lashes. My face is kind of dry, so, and it's peeling a lot where I messed with it the other night. But, um, let's check out our makeup and our foundation really fast. And I know it hasn't been that long. It's probably been like an hour and a half or, or something. <laughs> okay, so as far as the foundation goes, um, I think it looks pretty awesome. And the concealer looks pretty good too. Um, as far as the powder just like setting on top of the um, concealer and foundation and all that, I think it looks okay. Like doesn't look like amazing but it looks good you know what I mean if that makes sense but um yeah I think it really works and the highlighter I love it I always have I love the lip combo I think that's awesome um I really like the eyeshadows too I just had a little bit of trouble with the maroon shade or whatever but I still think that they're pretty good um so I would like pass everything that I've tried today just about all besides the lashes and what else I feel like there was something else that I wasn't feeling that much oh and the mascara I would not recommend the mascara I just do not like it I mean it's supposed to be good for your lashes maybe that's why it's just more of a um, lightweight mascara I guess you could say but I'm just not feeling it it's not for me I want like a thick mascara and one that dries really fast and that isn't just like coating, barely coating my lashes. 
but um yeah i think that's all for the video you guys um i will leave all the prices and stuff down below so you can check that out i want to thank you guys so much for watching it means the world to me and more i mean i know i'm not like freaking up there and have a thousand subscribers which i really don't even care i just want to be able to help you guys and help whoever you know with anything like find cheap products that can work for you um that are good for your money and all that stuff but i love you guys please like comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell down below you already know the deal well i'll see you guys next time bye